from Ori. 14 for Akeem. And the Rockets lead by six. Hey guys, this is Dominique Wilkins. And this is Sean Kemp. This is Gary Payton. Hey, this is Paul Gasol. NBA fans, what's up? This is Vince Carter here. Hey, what's up? This is Matt Barnes. If you're an old school NBA fan like I am, make sure you check out the basketball time machine with my man Sean David. Hey guys, what's good? Welcome back to the Basketball Time Machine. My name is Sean David. Thanks for tuning in. I hope you're ready for your weekly dose of old school NBA basketball. In today's episode, I want to take a look at 10 incredible Hakeem the Dream Olajuwon moments, moments that we as fans will never ever forget. But before we dive into that, let me ask you guys for a small favor. Please subscribe to the channel, like the video if you enjoy the content. All right, enough said, let's get right into it. Back in the 1995 NBA Finals between the Houston Rockets and the Orlando Magic, nobody gave the Rockets a chance. And in Game 1, at first it looked like, well, everybody was right. But then Kenny Smith went hot and Hakeem Olajuwon had this incredible game winner. He'll inbound the ball. He hit the big one in the playoffs earlier, but they get it to Smith. Kenny ducks, leads, fires, oh, scores! Whoa! Oh, a cold-blooded three! He filled it! 106 to go. We're tied at 110. And that's a new record for an NBA Finals in three-pointers. Seven now for Kenny Smith. We think that the other team is, is going to you know, fold under pressure. That, that's our attitude because... Uh, and it's proven in fast that you know, we're going to come out and play our game and play a top of our game in the clutch games, and we just don't think other teams can do that. And even when the Magic did execute to tie the game in overtime, the Rockets were ready to go one better. This game is tied with five and a half seconds to go. Elliott is going away from the ball. Kenny Smith is going to try to get it. Smith circles out back. Instead, they give it to Drexler. Oh, he's Drexler driving. He goes. He puts it up. On the rim off. Dipped in. Dipped in. Dipped in. Dipped in by Akeem. The Houston Rockets have stunned the Orlando Magic. And they win game one of the NBA Finals in stunning fashion. Now, as you know, Michael Jordan was one of the few guys that hardly any player was able to block. But Hakeem Olajuwon did it four single times in a single game. Four times in one game. No joke. Let's take a look. Right side of the move. Swings it outside to Curitan into Jordan. Michael in deep. Scoop pass tipped out of bounds by Houston. The Bulls get the ball with 13 to shoot. He field. Jackson turning in the dribble, in from the left side, kicks to Jordan in the left corner. Michael on the move against McCray, in for the left, lays it high. Blocked inside, Elijah Wan, no good. Pax works into the left corner, Jordan has it left in the circle. Michael in from the left side, lays it up, block, no goal, in. Houston away with another. Oakley left baseline, underneath pass to Jordan, Michael indeed got fouled. In the 1994 NBA Finals between the Houston Rockets and the New York Knicks, John Starks had the chance to win a game and Hakeem Olajuwon had this incredible block which showed again what a versatile defender the dream really was. Let's take a look. Two seconds to go. Rockets lead by two and here is Starks. Look for three, it's tipped and it's knocked away and the Rockets win! The ball was tipped! It was personally blind. Elijah Wan, Joe, Elijah Wan with the big tip. Now, some of you guys know that Shaquille O'Neal is one of my favorite players of all time. And in the 1995 NBA Finals, well, Hakeem Olajuwon dominated Shaq. Let's take a look. One on one with O'Neal, backing it up. Fade away, jet foot rainbow. Oh! Unbelievable basketball. Lajuan with the ball, the spin, the shot. He's got it! Another magnificent all-around performance by Akeem Olajuwon. Olajuwon with a jump hook. What a shot by Akeem. Right in the right court. Olajuwon for three. Yes! What it's only fitting. What a way to end it. Come on, game is over! How sweet it is! 
Jimmy. Houston Rockets got it for their second consecutive NBA championship. Elijah Watts on the ball. Lead by 10. Elijah Wan had everything. You, you know, most most all the other centers, at best, they got two or three moves. But Akeem, he was very unpredictable on the block. You know, you thought he was going right, he would go left. You thought he'd shoot the jumper, he'd come with the up and under. And 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 mentally, he was a guy you couldn't break. Like all the other guys, I say something about him in the paper, especially the Georgetown boys. You know, I say something about Alonzo, Dikembe, they get mad, you know how they play, but. You know, you say something about Akeem or you throw Akeem a ball, you just look at you and go, nice move, big fella. <laughs> Again, we will take a look at Hakeem Olajuwon blocking Jordan, but this time with a game winner. Let's take a look. Rockets will be playing perimeter defense. Jordan for three, blocked by Olajuwon, and Hakeem takes it to end the game. Hakeem Olajuwon with a block. Hakeem Olajuwon with a block. You know, I said it countless times on my channel already. To me, Hakeem Olajuwon is the best big of all time. And I know there are Shaquille O'Neal, Bill Russell with Chamberlain, and Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, but when it comes to being versatile, especially on the defensive end, Hakeem Olajuwon was just the perfect defensive player. Let's take a look at one of the greatest chase down blocks of all time. Goes right to Hakeem, good heads up play. And a steal by Strickland, a lazy pass. Olajuwon blocks it away. Well, Akeem give and Akeem take a Now, earlier we took a look at Hakeem Olajuwon dominating Shaq in the NBA Finals, and he did the same thing to Patrick Ewing. Let's take a look. Patrick Ewing, a rivalry that dates back to 1984 when Ewing's Georgetown Hoyas beat by Slamma Jamma of the University of Houston for the NCAA title. Here they are going. At so Akeem Olajuwon dominated Patrick Ewing, he dominated Shaq, and now he dominated David the Admiral Robinson. You know, took away Olajuwon's uh, MVP trophy. That was, that was the night. The, yeah, night, the night that he that... didn't acknowledge uh, Akeem Olajuwon. Ooh. David mentioned every player but Dream. And we're playing, and I and I, I said the dream. I'm like, that doesn't make you bad. No, oh, no, Kenny, he deserves it. Then after the game, he had like 46. <laughs> he goes, I'm going to his house to get my MVP. <laughs> <laughs> they would bring that attitude next to San Antonio. Awaiting them was the team with the league's best record, the season's most valuable player, and some added motivation. Congratulations. David Robinson, 1995 NBA MVP. Especially for Hakeem Olajuwon. I think deep down inside, with his personal pride, it gave him some extra fire. Hakeem, who has the heart of a champion, you know he'll respond tonight. He will respond. I shouldn't have ever given that award out before the series started. It was a point Hakeem would drive home to David Robinson. He didn't know how to guard a game. If David Robinson is not quick enough to stop you, nobody is. Dream game too many fakes, and I think that's just really frustrating. I tell you, Elijah Wan has David Robinson just bamboozled. You kind of felt like he could do what he wanted when he wanted. Robinson is saying, what must I do? When he made that one shot where he wasn't even looking at the basket, he just finger rolled it behind his head and when I said, well, somebody's in trouble for them. You know, it's going to be a long night. Dominating Robinson and the Spurs, Hakeem helped the Rockets win both games in San Antonio, stunning their favorite opponent. And the Rockets will go home looking to sweep the team with the best record in ball when the playoffs began. I mean, I, I don't even know how I can say it with a straight face, but I thought it... Most of the time, I defended him pretty well. The man just played, I mean, as well as I've seen anybody play in a long time. All right, you guys, that was it for today's episode. I hope you enjoyed this video because it was such a great pleasure putting this video together since I'm such a huge Hakeem the Dream Elijah One fan. So don't forget to leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and hopefully I'll see you next time on the Basketball Time Machine. Make a fantastic ending by winning the championship. Elijah One. Celebration has begun here in Houston. And the Rockets are about to become the first team in NBA history to beat four clubs with 50 regular season wins in the playoffs to win the title.